Hello guests, Ritzy Bellhop here. Welcome to Quite Optimal, the show where we discuss the best of everything on a per dollar basis. And today we're gonna be looking at the best foam cosplay swords. The reason why I am creating this episode is because I came across these spark foam swords by accident while I was looking for toy foam swords for my best toys video. Yes, there's a best toys video coming. Keep an eye out for that one. And while I couldn't recommend these swords for kids, I simply had to review them for you because they are excellent cosplay cosplay options for the price. Katana swords seem to be the focus of the Spark Foam company because they offer about 20 different styles of katana. But Spark Foam offers a variety of other melee weapons as well, including a two-handed longsword, single-handed arming swords, and knives. I'll leave links to all of Spark Foam's weapons in the description below. And even if you'd like some time to consider your purchase, please add the item to your cart after using my link. That way, if you do decide to buy it later, Amazon knows to send me a tip for being a good bellhop. Most of Spark Foam's weapons are going to be like this $30 katana, made with a fiberglass core and everything else being foam. The handle will be foam, the guard will be foam, and the blade will be foam. But don't think for a moment that this is going to be squishy, pool noodle type foam. The foam in these blades is incredibly stiff, like anyone could easily mistake it for hard plastic. Being hit with it at full swing can really hurt, especially if the edge hits the head or the knuckles of the defender. It's also very unpleasant to be poked with since the tip is quite pointy. The stiffness of the foam is the reason why I ultimately could not recommend these swords in my toy video. It just makes them unsuitable for play fights between kids. They would be suitable for choreographed fights though if you were doing a show, and they would be suitable for any other dress up cosplay type purpose. Now you may have noticed earlier that I said most of Spark Foam's weapons are made like this katana, and that's because not all of Spark Foam's katanas are made of all foam like this one. Some of them, like this $40 katana, have a scabbard, handle, and guard made of a lightweight wood. The scabbard on these more expensive versions will be thinner, more curved, and overall more aesthetically pleasing than the plastic scabbard that comes with the foam katanas. Because the scabbard is wood, the sword draws a lot smoother. And when you put the sword away, it makes a satisfying click sound, which you don't get from the plastic scabbards. The wood handle is wrapped with paracord and does not flex in your hands, unlike the foam handle, which feels significantly less premium. All of Spark Foam's katanas are the same length, with a 10 inch handle and a 28 inch blade for an overall length of 38 inches. However, the katanas with the wood handles have a thinner foam blade, which makes them a lot more nimble since the balance point is a lot closer to the hands. But the thinner blade also makes it more floppy when swinging it around. So if you are needing these for a choreographed stage performance, I would choose the all foam version over the version with the wood handles. That being said, I am not using these on stage, and so I am actually returning the all foam katana and keeping the one with a wooden scabbard for a few reasons. I like that it fits in a belt loop, it's very convenient. I like the click of the wood when I put the sword away. I prefer the way it handles when I'm just playing around with it, and it looks much better on display which actually is the most important reason for me because 99% of the time I won't be playing with this, but I might put it in the background once I finally get around to upgrading my set. In the meantime, I'm definitely going to be a t-shirt ninja this Halloween using this sword. If you'd like to watch more unsponsored videos on optimal living, I've left them for you just to the right of hat rack. And should you ever have need of a ritzy bellhop again, you can summon me by ringing that secret bell that appears after hitting the subscribe button.